Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. In the spirit of celebrating women this month, yes, we are doing or talking about something that is rarely talked about, and that is self-defense for the woman. Yeah, very interesting. We're up. We're not sitting because we're going to be doing those things. And I'm not so sure about the sound, so I'll just stop with those ones. Kabisa. <laughs> so in studio, we have Karate Kenpo Women's Defense. Hi, ladies. You all look so good. And their coach, Wilson Yasuo. Karibu sana. Pleasure. Uh, coach Tafalali, introduce our beautiful ladies. Uh, what does it do? Okay. Uh, welcome, Kenya. My name is Wilson Yeswa. I am a second degree black belt from the African Kenpo Federation. Okay. Here I have very beautiful ladies. Yes. They look lovely, right? They do. <laughs> yeah. Our kind come on as a chap them too. And, uh, yeah, the, the, yeah. But they can. The things that are in stories <laughs> I never seen outside. <laughs> okay, okay, kindly introduce. So okay. this week we are celebrating our women, yes. our beautiful women, what they do, the great effort they have done. Mm -hmm. Some realizable, some that have not been really been acknowledged yes. into the limelight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to introduce them uh, so that at least from there. Uh, we'll come up with something creative for okay. today. Okay. And something to help one lady who is somewhere over there. Okay. To at least find out the base where she can build her confidence from. All right. So from my immediate right, mm -hmm. we have Karen uh -huh. Nyakerario. Mm -hmm. She's uh, in yellow belt. Yes. She trains also in Kangemi. What What does the yellow belt mean? Does it yellow? have a significance? Yes. Yellow uh -huh. belt means she's a seeker. She's really seeking the knowledge. Yellow belt oh. now the first immediate belt after so the white belt. So mimi ni kiingia, mimi ni seeker. Wewe ni initiate. Hey. Yeah, belt yangu taiko hapa. Wewe ni white belt. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you start, you're a white belt. Okay. Now we call it an initiate. So we want to initiate you to the process. Okay. Now after the process, now we take you to the first level, which is the yellow belt. Now okay. you become a real seeker. Okay. So the two belts represent seeker. Uh-huh. And then, uh -uh, then the next one, we have uh, Beverly mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. They train together in one club okay. in Kangemi. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been training together for some time. Ah, yeah. So uh, does it is, does it matter at what? Okay, fine. Just continue. I think I'll ask my questions later. Then uh, <laughs> the next, the third one from my right, we have Felista Mugo. She trains in South B mm -hmm. under Coach Gabriel. She's now in Purple Belt. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's developed some endurance now. She's making the peso straight and firm. Mm -hmm. Purple belt means student. Ah, now you are a real student. You okay. really want to seek that knowledge. All right. All right. Yes. Then immediately after Felista Mugo, mm -hmm. we have uh, also our lovely Rosaline Njeri. Mm -hmm. She trains in Nairobi Kenpo Studio. Okay. Uh, located along Fangano uh -huh. Terry House, uh, first floor. Okay. She's also a student, Purple uh -huh. belt. Uh -huh. Yes. Now we have the now next to me. We have now our warrior, now is assistant instructor. Ah. She's in brown belt. Uh -huh. They train together in the same studio uh -huh. on Fangano Street. Uh -huh. uh, she's in brown belt. What is, uh, you said that is assistant? Assistant instructor now. If I'm not there, she'll step in my class. She's stepping with my instruction. Then hey. she'll conduct the process. She's beautiful like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then she will do, do things. Don't let the beauty lie to oh, you. Oh, <laughs> be warned, man. Thank you so much. We'll have the two ladies remain. Okay. And then we'll have you back in a bit. Okay. So I, had, I ha have a question for you. How long does it take for me to move from one belt? So Mimi Nulem to uh, initiated the white belt. So um, how long does it take for me to move to the next level and then to the next level? Uh, generally, we give you a period of three to four months that's ah. manageable right okay yeah so you it's train a full course it's a full course mm. full commitment your mind is there then the rest just swings in so the first three months you're able to graduate to another level mm -hmm. uh, the second belt you also take another four uh, probably approximate four to five months mm -hmm. then you go to another level now which is the orange belt mm -hmm. then from orange belt you go another six months you go to now purple belt mm depending on how if you've been consistent in training. But if you've, not, if you've been breaking in training, we can't really take you to that. We want somebody who is consistent. You have several classes you need to cover mm -hmm. before to, we go to another level. Okay. So after that, then you go to purple belt. Then from purple belt, you take around eight months before you go to now green belt. What? 
Then from there's green, a green belt. There's a green belt in mm -hmm. between them. Mm -hmm. Then from there you train another one year with the green belt continuous, more than eight classes. So that 80. is for me, yeah. You have to really get committed to the process. At least a year, you have three to four classes in a week. And that is commitment. Then you move to brown belt. Mm -hmm. Now she is going to be there for the next at least two years. Minimum two years. And okay. consistent. And after two years of fighting, uh, training, and then what? Black She'll belt. go through the process of uh, instructorship. Uh -huh. She'll be taught how to handle a class, how to handle different human beings based on their temperaments. Because not all human beings are the same. Yes. So they come in different levels. You have to understand them. Wow. If somebody comes in, you have to handle how the emotions are, yes. to take them through, have them manage. That is the essence of training okay. and exercise. So it's all a full body and full mental so just like packaging. workout wow yes, yes. so this is the black belt yes this, that's the famous one ah kuna ingine kubwa kuliko black belt yes most definite right. my coach is in sixth degree yes which and is that, a what belt now that is a professor professor start uh, now let me say associate professor start from fifth degree mm -hmm. then professor full from sixth degree as you go to tenth degree now we call it grandmaster Oh, there's a grandmaster. Yes. I've, I've watched those Chinese movies. Actually. Yes. So I'm going to let you guys showcase a bit of what you have. And then I, I think I'll just be here. Or maybe Nikyo na Nikam Narusha sana. I'll just walk away. Yeah, don't worry. You're safe. <laughs> okay. They'll make take sure they away. take care of you. Sawa, sawa. Uh, so today we are going to take you through some of the very basic attacks on the street. Okay. They do happen, but probably they happen to you and you are a lady and you tend to be so timid and so scary, you let it go, just let give out what you have. So we are teaching these, our beautiful ladies, our beautiful women, not to let that go, because mm. you took your time to get that thing which you have. You can't let somebody just step from the bush and come and pick it from you. Mm. So we're giving them that confidence, they're walking on the street, they become aware, and they do what they do. So you will not just approach them from anywhere. No. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take you through the technique. Okay. They'll take us through the technique slow, then a bit fast how it applies. Okay. So I think probably. I don't know. Wh cool. So they'll face each other. So that's what they do with partner. That's what can poise. It's more practical. Okay. So you, you don't fake on the street. When you're going for the strike, then you do it. So slicing, who's doing? Me. Okay. So one. <laughs> so what if you hit her face? <laughs> <laughs> so it'll take you slowly what normally happens. Okay. Probably somebody wants just to kick you to your belly. We okay. believe there's a there's a high level of human anatomy. You find that now there are areas you strike and somebody just goes down. Yes. So somebody wants to strike your belly. So he knows he'll find you there. Okay. So your creativity will take you now to loop from the other side, then you he gets into your range. So they're doing now in slow motion. Yeah, slow motion. Okay, so, so one he Two, three, four, then a kick to the belly. So those are as, as simple as that, but are very effective. So they are just trying to control because we've taught them the degree of control. But on the street, things now become more aggressive. That is what oh we are teaching them. Oh my goodness. So they can do more faster. Then she does also her technique. Okay, let's yes. go. Yeah. Good. It comes with the sound. Yes. Yeah, it was good. I was like, ha! Ah, so, so, okay, cool. So nah. now she has a different technique. She has a different technique. Okay. Probably now from the normal perspective, we always assume the punch is stepping forward, but somebody may push you away. Then you are, from there, you initiate another mo another movement, from the person under strike. Mm. So it can start with a push or a punch. Okay. So it can start with a push first. So she'll step aside, just what we call, it's a check. She just ah. wants to stop the, the motion. She stops, then from there, she goes straight to the throat. <gasps> Then from there, You've killed if the this was a guy, yeah. she'll go down. And oh, yeah. And then okay, okay. she controls the person, go straight to the kidney level, and go to the thigh to make it ah. numb. And, she's, and then you go back. Your then she position. breaks free. She can scream yes. and run away. Okay. Yes, so those are some of the basic defense you need to have. Can we see it faster? Good. Okay. Good. Again, one last time. Good. Hey. So, those are the beautiful ladies we have, but they have other techniques also. We'll still try to at least something that is very effective, even new, yeah. you can do on the street. 
Some, yeah, something like if they grab you from the back. Most yes, definite. That's the one. So yes. that is the most, actually it was... It was the one? Yeah, it was just okay, in the pipeline. You know, I'm sorry, I was about to say, you know guys do that. <laughs> but you're I tell you, yeah, exactly. You're so, asking oh, yourself, mm -hmm. what about if this one happens? Yes. So somebody grabs your piece or your hair or your yes. dreads from there. So we are looking at the first one. She'll try to check who's this person first. Because ah. that is not a very friendly grab. Okay. So she'll try to turn back and apply what you call an ampi trap. Okay. Then from there, she'll do what you call an, a Y chalk. It's just to cut the communication and to chalk the person. If the person does it enough, and then from there, takes the person down. Oh, and from there, breaks the hand and breaks, breaks the hand. Or whatever it is. That is how we are supposed to empower ladies because okay. this is a circular word. It's and when true, something it is happening, yes, it does. You don't have All a second chance. All we do chance. is, ah, yeah. and then they run away with your bag. Do you have a second choice to life? No. Yes. So we tend to yes, give them faster. Cool. So one, two. Good one. Thank you. I wish I had a microphone for the ladies because I want to know if they do these things. You know, like uko. We'll, we'll, get, well, when you go on a break, we'll get, we'll get a mic. We'll definitely now, get a microphone. Mm -hmm. The other one also, we have a technique that it happens. So we, when somebody, when a, an aggressor sees a lady, uh -huh. always think a la all ladies are weak from, from the analogy. Mm -hmm. So when you are training this lady, you're giving them, you're empowering them to develop that level of confidence when they're walking in the street to become aware. They don't just walk like any other human being. Mm -hmm. They walk as they check the environment. Now, for this situation, she's been grabbed. It happens, you see. As media that you don't allow those hands to get to your chest. That's okay. inappropriate. Yes. So when you goes, you see there's a slap too, and Hi. check her down <laughs> and the rest. Bike. Sorry so guys. So as simple as it is. So you, if somebody tries to push your chest, yes. you just break free by extended outward parties. Okay. Then you slap. So that is just Nami yeah, both sides. Okay. This is how we do the slapping. Hi. With the professionally one go one two. Then grab two, three, then kick. You are you can kicked. Do. Yeah, so that is one of them. So okay. those are some of the good techniques that ladies need to learn. If somebody grabs your shirt, somebody tries to push you, you, do you try just extend your then, hands. And then, akika hivya kishanganini mefanyikia. Yeah, there's that and leverage. Yeah, yeah. So you can okay. break free ah, and I do think that. I got this. This is the one for me. <laughs> this. There's okay. another good one that okay. normally happens that ladies don't know. Okay. Uh, somebody, there's a side hug. Somebody like, comes like a friend, oh, yeah. just oh. holding you like, you see like that? Yeah. No, no one will ever realize these guys are attacking you. Oh, Have yes. you ever seen somebody coming close to you and they're robbing you? You see like that? So you from there, oh. go straight to the solar plexus oh. again, take her oh. down, then you can stamp, stomp the, then you can go. Oh, you can break God. free. Run for safety. Yes. Cry for help. Can can we see that again? Again, so slowly okay. from there. Yes. There's a side hug. Yes. So this just, is so no one will, yeah, no one will ever realize. Okay. So there are people will like, ah, these guys are working, they're friends. Mm. And yet there's another aggressor also from there. You see there's an ambi trap knee, check her down, then from there you can strike anywhere okay. for safety. For safety. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. So I think those are some of the techniques. They had, yes. and other our ladies also will be demonstrating some other good techniques. Techniques as well. Yes. So does it stop at any point? Like, I wish I had a microphone for you guys. Please, get, somebody get me a microphone, please. Something I need a microphone um, uh, for the ladies. So what what happens? What happens when you see you are you are now um, master? Is it master? I'm a coach. Coach. No, yes, yeah, you are I'm a coach. Here to be a oh, master. black belt. Yeah. So is, is that, that's what I was going for. So when you're a black belt, you're a coach. Yes, there's a procedure you go through to become a coach. Okay, and an that is different. A from black belt is just the steps you've gone through to uh -huh. achieve this level. Okay. Then through that, you're taken through the procedure. You go through the instructorship. Mm -hmm. You go to different uh, workshops. Mm -hmm. And, and you for the grandmaster, yes. Um, how long will it take you mm -hmm. to get there if you work? Well, I'm sure you are working towards it. Do we have like, how many grandmasters do we have like? Many? In Kenya right now, under Kenpo, we have recently, most acknowledged, I think we have one, which is uh, from, he, he was acknowledged from the US, which is our root where the Kenpo comes from. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he was uh, now awarded the 10th degree to be the grandmaster under Kenpo now in Kenya. Ah. Yes, now. 
So how long will it take you to get there? Mm. You know, in the movies, tocha tu nionge malino leji yangu ya grandmaster. They are very old. <laughs> yeah, it takes the process. It takes a lot of time for you to get there. Is that your, you know, where you're looking to get to? Most definitely I get to Grandmaster. Okay. But when it comes to Kenpo alignment, now Kenpo versus now other arts. Kenpo yes. is now the modern martial art. Mm -hmm. Now it keeps on evolving. It's, it's, it keeps on, there are new attacks have changed. Yes. Uh, people have devised new ways of now getting something out of you. Uh -huh. Now when you get to other like the Kung Fu which you've said you yes. watch and the rest. <laughs> now for them we call them the traditional martial styles. Because they stick to the rules that were established by their forefathers. So okay. they will never change. If you find me standing like this, there's no you'll come and question my stand. Ah. So they tend to follow that. For Kenpo, we keep on changing, keep on adjusting based on the situation. Two situations, which yes. is amazing. Yeah. I see my ladies have microphones. Hi, please let us hear your voice. Hi. We will not be judging you after <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, what made you want to get into this? And now you are assistant trainer. Uh, I think at some point in my life I've been attacked. You were attacked. Were you little? Were you able to defend yourself at all? I wasn't little. I was... I uh, put yellow. your microphone... I yes. was yellow belt at that point. You were already in it. So yeah. why did you get in it? Oh, um, when I started training, I just wanted to do something different. Okay. Other than aerobics. Oh, yeah. okay. So when you were a yellow belt, you were attacked. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think it's fine. That, that made me not stop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Were you able to defend yourself, even Kidogo, at that point? Yes, uh, Kidogo, very little, but I was beaten up. Seriously. I'm so sorry. So I decided to go for forward and train harder. For now, I'm a challenge and I can kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what made you get into this? Uh, my dad was a coach. Oh. S yes. Uh, so he inspired me so much when I was yes. young. So he used to take me along with him at gym and he used to tell me do as they do. So, you, oh, oh. so I used to repeat the same thing. So it grew in me and uh, uh, I find it fun. It's really fun. You were smiling the whole time as you were kicking her. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. why is she smiling? <laughs> but it's fine. Because <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. Really fun. Okay. Yes. I'd like to know quickly, like... Yes or no? Have you ever, you know, like flexed a bit to coinje konishana usin yongeleshe ivo? First of all, we are disciplined, oh, okay. so we don't go kicking around everyone oh. friend. Yeah. So uh, our first rule is to walk away from the fight. Oh, okay. Yes. So if it needs you to be in fight, that's when you're going to fight. To fight. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you don't yeah. attack. You don't attack. I think that's day. a good thing. Yes. I've been there saying, I can beat you. Do you know <laughs> that I have the skills? I have the skills. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we have a um, comment here and questions. Um, hmm, Mwikali, join them for some martial arts skills. Nimeskia. <laughs> Sawa. Mendika na capitals. It's okay. <laughs> yes, I might be joining them after the break. Hi, Mwikali. Ask him if you can just have basic training with, go with, that, with going without going all that process of getting into the belt manner for safety purposes is it is it is it possible for me to just get in to learn the basics of protecting myself without having to go through getting uh, she's already looking at me those ones for why wouldn't you want a belt yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh sometimes we say let the belt speak for you but sometimes we also say the belt doesn't really it's just a color something i'm just tying around my waist yes what the, the most important is what i'm you, I impart you, you, it to my upstairs. Mm. At least when I'm walking along, there's no one knows if I've trained yes. until they get into contact with me and I, I'm in a situation yes. which I can't really get out. Okay. So that is when I do that. So we also teach out those private classes whereby we just equip, uh, equip you with the, some skills yeah, because I mean, on imagine how if it, to... If I'm in a marriage mm. that is volatile, my husband keeps beating me up. I just be like, coach, yo, just teach me where, where do I hit? I don't want to kill him. I just want to, you know, be able to run away this time. Nigonge wap. We don't really actually encourage domestic violence as a martial no, because we believe actually when you're training. But I'm, uh, it's self-defense, no? Yeah, now. I want to be married to this guy. I want us to, you know, continue raising our children. But he needs to stop beating me. And maybe oh, yeah. the only way to make him stop is being like, Cheeky. 
Uh, but one of the ways walk out or walk away. That's but true. now ag That's again true. we have okay. so many programs like anti bully, ah. anti rape programs in Kenpo. Okay. Also okay. when uh, we are teaching our ladies we give them that package as their package because we know mm -hmm. that they are on the forefront okay. when it comes to attacks and any other level of maybe this organization in society. So okay. find somebody finds them they just they feel they want to do what they want to do. With you. So, yes. so you, you have to teach them that anti bully, anti rape. Somebody. And this is purely defense. I like that, that we're not uh, propagating for, you know, being out there and being, you know, bullies and being like, Mimi, Najua, Kunini. Take care in Africa. You will never know that. <laughs> they're walking on you'll never you'll know never that. know i mean look at them they look so mm. harmless we're taking a very short commercial break we will be right back with this amazing ladies we still have a set that is not in studio in on the set yet but uh, when we come back we'll come back with them and see what else they have in store for us i hope you're learning okay Welcome back. I don't know. Is, 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 yeah, these are. Oh, awesome. mm -hmm. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. I hope you guys are great. Yes. Tuko hapa mambo ni. And we have you, we have two uh, new ladies. They did not join us before. And if I remember, the yellow belt is Inishi. No, Sika. that's me. Student. Sika. Sika. Woo. I'm doing bad. I'm doing bad, but this is Sikas. Okay. okay. So is it the same things that the others showed us? Um, they have a different, uh, you know, base, more basic kind of training. They also have a technique. Actually, we devise more technique for them. We are looking how they can break free from the danger. So they'll be doing some two techniques or ah. one, one. Then also our other lady also do one more. Okay. Yeah, so they'll teach us. They also take us through Another. technique. Yes. Yeah, some two techniques. Alafu basi. Yeah. Mimi basi nataka kueleza ya kwamba mara hiyo moja moja sina viatu because I have joined, I have learned and I will be showing you a very quick skill that I have. Okay, but before I show off, let's just see what they have. Good. Face each other. Set is yours. Stage is yours. So, allow me to take Please. you through one. Uh we have the ankles in martial the, the, the dimensions. Okay. So for this one, it's just a straight punch to the face. Mm -hmm. Now the lady, is, the lady who is now going to do the technique mm -hmm. will now take, they will step aside, mm -hmm. try and see how she can now to contain the person who is attacking her. Uh, so who's the attacker now? So the attack is from this side. Okay. They, she'll do the technique, then so she'll do her technique. So you're doing number one. One. He ah. Again, that was fast, slowly, slowly, one, okay, two, three, four, again. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That is head on. Yeah, so sometimes, some, you see, we have all the cycle behind the attack. So mm, some people mm. always go for the head. Mm. Just like striking a snake, a snake you go for the, the head. head yes. So you go to the head, and that is now the first basic area of strength. Okay. So you try to teach them the basic way. Instead of lifting, maybe you may be late. You go straight to cover your head. Mm. For instance, you're working on the student here, gunshot. What do you normally do? Oh my God. That is from that analogy, yes. we create the same thing. Ah. That is the science. So you're walking on the street and you hear somebody, you just cover your head. Okay. So from there. So that is now the science behind that. That's good. Yeah, so Hi. she'll try again. One. Nice. Awesome. I think now uh, I think you also do your technique. Okay. Now uh, from here, mm -hmm. she's in this position, and somebody is uh, what we call it wild, wild punch. Wants mm. to attack the head too. Okay. Now we are teaching them how to now uh, duck. Mm -hmm. Probably if she's not ready, she ducks, mm -hmm. then goes for the strike, then make sure she contains the aggressor, the person who was attacking her. So this is the wild punch. The wild punch. You are the attacker this now time. Now she's the attacker. Okay. Cool. Go slowly, go straight, take her down. <laughs> as simple as that. It is not simple. <laughs> well, it, 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 it was very vicious, if you ask me. Can so you see that again? Slowly, in slow motion? Yes. So when she's attacking her to the head, what she does, she just ducks, ducks. under. Yes. Now, this, uh, the person who's attacking, she'll mm. use his or her leverage. Okay. Because now you see the swing, you go with the force. Yeah. She will use her punch to contain that force. 
Okay. So it contains the person, she just goes straight to the to the attack cave and then she's able to transit to another level of now taking the person down. And, and then stepping yeah. on them. Yeah. High. So slow, slow motion. motion. Go one. You see she attacks oh, the solar okay. plexus. Yes. The reaction is you bend forward. Now she goes straight to contain the person and then uh -huh. steps in. She does what you call a rear leg takedown. Takes the person down. <laughs> steps on <laughs> the belly. You have all those angle areas that are very vulnerable. Can I ask? Yes. That sound that they make after they have won. <laughs> what does it mean? It's called Kiai. K I. Ah. Kiai is just uh, it. Uh, it aligns your movement. You can't say Kiai, then you've done. Oh, so they it aligns. Kiai. Uh, it aligns Kiai. Oh, Kiai. No, it aligns your movement. Okay. True. It gives you that confidence. Okay. Many a time people are talking in the in the middle of talking. Mm. What are you telling me? You see that. So it gives them that confidence when they are like somebody they become aggressive also. They just leave the spirit up. Also, it starts from the in, farms the muscle, they do that the key. Okay. So it aligns okay. your movement, gives you the confidence. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a lot uh, tied along the key. Okay. Yeah, okay. there's a whole okay. lesson into it's, it. It is, right? Yeah. They're, they're also like, um, where's my microphone? My microphone again, I think I. I don't know where it is. I'd like to talk to the ladies as well. Ah, it's coming. Great. There you go. Awesome. Colin, right? Yes. Okay. Why did you want to join? What made you um, choose karate? Passion. Pa where did it come it from? Were you always watching? been my passion because my dad was doing Shotokan. But for what them... Shotokan? Yes. Shotokan is one of the styles. Uh -huh. As I said, it falls under the traditional martial style. Okay. So under that, so for dad, his dad, her dad, yeah. was doing something different. Ah. And then she felt mot uh, motivated. So when... It was joined, a time to choose? Yeah, to yes. choose. Then she chose Kenpo. And so here she I is. chose to do karate because it has more skills, you know. Ka, what I try she know. get? Do not even try. <laughs> May I just know one move which I'll show off later. So what you can you get to get to So you can get to So me can I always get to get I'll just do it. Ah. So you can't come to get to get to get to get to So even for you, it's also protection because kwa, when you get to 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 so, Nikki Bully and National Memoriza, what can I do? Mm. Then he just told me, go to class. Then ah. I just decided. Okay, and because it's nice. a passion, yes. I'm just doing it. I just like it. So, when I yachted all the way, I'll make sure I become a master. Oh, <laughs> awesome, awesome. And for you, and kindly remind us your name Beverly. Mm -hmm. Me, I joined because of to overcome fear. And for self defense. Okay. Mm. Were you fearful? I mean, what do you mean? Look how to moga moga. Look how I'm going to. So now we're street. Eh. Msi ana kam kama chali. Eh. Ana zatu kujia kuchokoza mara me kuhag. Ah, ne yuko ina kufraisha ataki dogo. Ume to kam tagani. Kange mi. Oh, so no ko badun dona fanya practice yako ya karate. Yeah. Okay. No mo jipata mahali kutoka u join where you've had to defend yourself. Yes. No, can you defend Kabisa? I was saying, well, if you're a man, do you work in there? Kabisa. I've never been a man, Kabisa. What happened? I'm not sure if you're a man, I'm not sure if you're a man. So, Joa, Likwa, Likuja Twivi. Oh, you're a side. That, 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 that side thing is common. Ama, 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 Kuja, Kukushika, Uko. Ah. Akibe, Buku, Tonishika. Hi. Watch, I'm going to microphone. Ndiyo, Tonyeshe. Si, Akikuja, Ivi. Una? Una kata. Una ni block. Mm, oh, so aki, una block. Mm, aki endele, aki endele. Ama una, is it, is it like a full on, here. Is it like a full on motion? Aki sha, ukisha mkata. Ukisha block, mm. uneza mki, kumpunch. Umweke chini. Umweke chini. Um, okay. Take down. Okay. Mm. Wow. Pole manzi. Lakini <laughs> sezi una feel confident. Esa hii ni kwa saa. Kabisa na una pia unapanga kuenda all the way. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
sawa sawa me wish you all the best na ni vizuri mna encourage other girls out there that they can do something about being bullied that they can defend themselves at ongenge juzo tunaongea juu like eh tunafanya kazi si tumekuwa basi hiyo but kuna vitu vingi pia tunafaa kufanya kama kuji protect and that is what you're doing with Kenpo as well yeah also say you may be a CEO as you've just indicated you okay are you driving and uh, all of a sudden you have a tire bus or something yes. and you park your car and you're alone what happens but even if i have this skill and they come like five at least i'll take <laughs> at two down at least you know we at say i go down fighting <laughs> you can you can you can beat five people by one person ah you can there's that uh, we always have that philosophy that you can beat five people by one person okay you can Touch this guy this guy this guy so well until the others will have will to they ask, run away? ask themselves why do I have to go there ah i guess so you get that now you can yes. turn this guy the other way around yes. until the rest now will be like i can't go there okay let the lady just do her thing let her move out to safety <laughs> so that is i think one of the thing that we are saying that not only becoming a ceo is a, it's a good thing it's a good we thing we also need a skill yes and we have a very simple uh, we always say that you better sweat in the gym than bleed on the street that's true yeah you that's would rather true. step in and i'm glad that you're doing this for the women as well because mostly when you look at martial arts and karate and all of those things ilikuwa wanaume sana but then now we have very young how old are you girls how old are you 20 and you 20 20 what is the youngest you ever trained mm, they are in terms of a kid i think should be 3 years right now i'm training a 3 year old boy Three, three just turned three years old. Let me, that was in December actually. What? My boy Nico. Oh, that's your son? <laughs> no, my, my friends, I always call him my boy. <laughs> I train him so many and he called Nicholas. He called okay. me, coach, how are you? I'm so sure he's watching. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that yeah. means when you start young, then you're able to go further in such a short time because I'm yeah. okay, I'm dogo. But I wish you all the best. Do you have a lady who hasn't joined us yet? Mm, yes, There's one. one. Yes. Yes? Okay, please, you can join us. You can join us. I, I I don't know who you're fighting with. Yeah, she's yes. gone. Ah, we kuja na nani? Uko sure? What's your name? I'm Felista Mugu. Felista, how old are you? 21. 21. Yeah. Just hold the mic close. Why why are you different? Why are you hold it? Why are you wearing this? Is it is it a different are we, what is this? She's just spirited. She's just spirited. Oh, <laughs> oh, me thought you were totally different. No, no, she's just spirited. Ah, this is I'm good to go. But she's not remote when she's doing the technique. She okay. just has spirit. She thought maybe we'll have some sparring here. Oh, just, okay, I'm uh, not. I will not be the one to challenge <laughs> you. I'm sorry. And what made you get into this? Mm, for me, my life as in I've grown with mm -hmm. boys. Mike? Yes. Uh, with boys. Yes. So we had to fight. No childhood life. Yes. Well to fight. Uh -huh. So that give me passion uh. to do it and to protect myself also. Okay, so that is what why you got in. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm sure you have a technique for us. Yes, Let me yes, yes. Cool. Yes. Let me just hold Five. this for you. Mm. Ah, they're not allowed. No, my probably the technique is going to do. Ah, uh, might require some Ah, uh, okay. So like one. Uh -huh. These are normal street attacks okay a grab to the chest you see like that one will happen that is not a friendly one no it's not so from there this person may be masculine mm -hmm. probably a lady like you or a man who is quite big or almost the same age but no man with masculinity mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. grabs you to this extent they don't mm -hmm. know how to get you try to struggle you get strangled mm -hmm. so we're teaching them the easiest the best technique we call it a pain technique pain that technique. will stop this person mm -hmm. from now continuing to the next next level of attack okay so from here she step her left back and now she goes straight pop <gasps> she pops the eye that's how painful it is now she steps in and apply something called an ambi trap uh-huh and then she goes to other attacks uh -huh. and then she does an elbow Ooh. now she holds the hand it does also one of our basic level of attack also locks we uh -huh. have in in, in kenpo uh -huh. so she attacks there maybe she can break the hand then she goes for the attack to the rib section and breaks steps forward or breaks off breaks free and goes to the safety okay yes can we see it faster go oh. so from there straight okay okay i cool. think you can repeat one last time yeah Kimi. so this is the last one okay yes yes mm -hmm. 
Hey, maybe I have to do that. I have to do one. Yes. <laughs> I have to do. So uh, me, me, I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the coach because, you know, I just, I'm good like that. I'm just that guy. So you, you are the attacker. Yes. And Mimi, um, they're not attacked. You are, you are the one to run thing. to safety. <laughs> so I'm going to slap you. If <laughs> that'll happen. <laughs> I hope I remember. Okay, cool. So you stay. Hi. So, hi. This is a basic level. Okay. I want to slap you. Yes. Sometimes slapping may not be friendly. Okay. So from here you step forward and block. And now you go straight and, and bend down, boom. take me down. Yes. And you can step to my body and I'm down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is thank you so much. So thank much. you so much. Yeah. Our time is up. Okay. Thank you so much for coming through. At least I've learned one move. I hope you have learned something as well. And how can people, do, is there a social media page for this? Can you yes, share? Yes, we have a Nairobi studio where mm -hmm. you can find us so that at least when you are there, yes. you can link with other clubs ah, that we have. Okay. We have Nairobi studio. We call Nairobi Kenpo Karate mm -hmm. com. That is, you can go to our website mm -hmm. on Instagram, Nairobi Kenpo. I also we have another studio along Koinange, opposite now the Rubies. Eh? Mm -hmm. Initially it was Kennel Kobil. Mm -hmm. They are Koinange Premier Gym. Mm -hmm. We have clubs in Kangemi, okay. Mudurua, ah. Pumwani, Embakasi, okay. Nakuru, uh, Turukana, to you, town. all of them. Okienda, okay, you are your town. <laughs> I'm a social media, then they'll be able to get all of that. Most definite. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for coming through. Thank you, ladies. You are amazing. And keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for choosing us. It is Kwaheri from me. Let me see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Yay! <laughs>